Buenos dias, muchachos. It's El Comisionario coming to you live, not from heaven, although it looks quite angelic in here, but from Palermo, Argentina, just outside of Buenos Aires. Been here all week, ready to get back home for the start of the week Thursday night. Week 10 recap coming up. I know I haven't spoken to you guys in a while, but time has been a constraint as uh, Thursday night games gets in the way. i got to focus. Let's get back to week 10. Uh, matchup, I think, of the week. Myself, the favorite versus Freebirds. I think two versus three, and I thumped him quite well. Big Ben came through in a Rodgers um, bye week with a big 44 spot. I'll have to admit, the first thing I did when I landed in Argentina was check the fantasy line and, and saw where Big Ben did well. Um, so, um, good try there, Freebirds. Maybe next time. Matchup number two, Bohica just dominates Ditka. A typical Ditka week, although, however, the week before he puts up over 100, which is ridiculous. But um, good week for Bohica. I, I, I really don't want to face him later on this year. And uh, Ditka put up, the Dwayne Bow put up 31, and uh, still barely barely gets 70. So, matchup number three, the Swarm buzzes Chazzy's Chalupas. Good week, Chazzy. Again, you're still a loser. Your team is really bad, but minus Brady, who put up, I think, 51 points against you. The Swarm has another fluke week. He's just a very run-of-the-mill average team. Nothing exciting. Doesn't really participate anymore. I understand when you're 5-5 five and five middle of the road, you're not having much fun. It's okay. Number four, Dirty Dirty Toyota our our leader, the Beast. I think it was by like 60-something points. Uh, I mean, Dirty Dirty, I want to face you right now. You, you guys are playing good. you got Gerard putting up big points. Johnson. The Beast, you have two losses and they've both been Toyotaizes. So when you lose, you lose big. Uh, but you've been fading here lately. Your point total's down. I believe I've passed you in the point total. But uh, Dirty Dirter, Dirty Dirter uh, is playing, is very hot right now. Number five, since the FU really beats the Nature Boys bad. Uh, since he puts up 112, he's four and six. The Nature Boys has the most points in the league, yet he only scores 65. He's had three Toyota rises, but I just don't understand your team. Obviously, a hot and cold team. I believe I called that in the beginning of the year, but we'll leave that alone. Matchup number six, the comeback of the year, extends, sneaks up, and spanks Shamrockers. I saw a little angry post from Shamrockers and. Uh, is well worth it. Michael Vick putting up 60 plus. I believe you were down by 70 going into Sunday night, and Mike Wallace and um, Vick combined would have beaten Shamrockers, which is really ridiculous. Which sucks for Shamrockers. Tough. <laughs> All right, matchups for predictions for Week 11. Uh, the favorite overextends, which will clinch my playoff berth. Freebirds over Bohica. The Swarm's going to buzz Ditka. Uh, upset of the week is Chazzy's over Dirty Dirty. I doubt it happens, but I'm really, really hoping that my, my good picks continue. The Beast is going to dominate Cincy, and the Nature Boys are going to tie the Shamrockers. That's how I don't understand you're beating either one of your teams, so you guys are going to tie this week. Anyways, that's it from Argentina. I hope you guys are doing well, and as always, love your favorite commissioner. Ciao.